rare opportunity for Scotland Sevens women to play at a major event. Australia already with the win over South Africa. First up for both of these sides, the Fijiana. Wonderful to watch. You've got 10 players from that new team squad representing here in this tournament. So hopefully they can continue with that momentum. Meryl Smith gets this pool B match and under one. They'll know that PGR actually give away the most amount of penalties, so they're really going to want to pile on that pressure, try and pin them back into their half. Backwards. Gone loop. Nice offload in the tackle. That's their game, and the chip ahead as well. Keeps it in field. Shona Campbell shatters it over the sideline. With Fijiana, you expect the unexpected. Offloads from everywhere, attacks from anywhere, potential kicks from anywhere. That's what makes them so incredibly difficult to play against. Five, Into the elite world of rugby sevens, six. this team. Yeah, watch out for their number six, Rupi Alunasau. We saw in the kick and chase. There she is with the ball in hand. Looking for the wraparound, and here she has it once again. Straight off the set piece. Check it. Timo. So that was Try slick stuff off the set piece from the Fijiana. Yes. When you were on screen, you made a water try. <laughs> but that was all done at lightning speed, so incredibly difficult to do. Later this year. Lisa Thompson. Nice improvised offload over the top to Campbell. And in support now is Merrill Smith. There's another offload. Good stuff from Scott Thompson at scrum half. Emma Orr. Rolly. Chloe Rolly. Nice little in and away and a high tackle coming over the top. You heard the noise from the crowd. Advantage Scotland for that high tackle. GB women to Tokyo last year. Also played for Scotland Ball Sevens at the Delhi right. Commonwealth Games in 2010. But a chance here for Scotland. Sinclair chipping ahead. Fiji have done really well to get back here, but no, Scotland do get the decision, and Thompson wants it quickly. She taps, but she's got to take it on the spot. Just gives Fiji a chance to take a breather. They've got numbers on the far side. All they need to do is shift it, and they will. And Shona Campbell scores for Scotland. The conversion will be the levelling score. Well, I mentioned it earlier, if you can apply pressure to the Fijiana team, especially in their 22, you will get a pen. Good tackle. The try scorer, Campbell. Scotland just trying to squeeze Fiji here and prevent their offloading game, but they're on the breakaway, the Fijiana. Rolly or Lloyd on the chase, they're not going to get there. Fiji have their second. Bunny Buleki with the try for Fiji. Initially, really good pressure defensively from Scotland. The players shooting up when they realised that Fijiana had the outside player on the edge, so they shut it down, but just there. <laughs> Fiji goes straight down the middle on the restart. Donu. Tall figure wins it, but Scotland have smuggled it back. Reel in Bulecki in that try before half time. Thompson, the captain, under pressure here. And the ball's gone forward. Advantage Fiji and the dummy and the score. They forced the error with the strong defense. And Thabudu with the dummy and try. It was a scavenger-style defence there, fighting for everything. On the floor, they're causing trouble. Working around the edges, they're causing trouble. Great way to score in the opening of the second half there. Oh, what an audacious dummy. Emma Orr. Slight dog leg in the Fijian defensive line. Can Scotland take advantage of it? Here's Rona Lloyd. She sees the space. She's through the gap. Roy Lloyd, Lloyd for the line. And she'll get there. Plenty of Scottish support here in Birmingham. And they enjoyed that one. Scotland back in it. 
Wow, that was energy sapping stuff from both sides. You could just see an attack there. Scotland went just about on the edge of running out of ideas. They tried to get the ball into Rona Land's hands. On... Has given them a lifeline here. 21 12, three minutes to go. Fiji with possession. Shot tackle from Rolly. Fiji still have it. Nice offload. A little hitch kick. Important tackle needs to be made by Campbell. It isn't. And Naimasi is away, but how's that for the cover defence from Musgrove? Fiji still have it, though. Basketball pass over the top. Chance of an overlap here for Zaveua. She's wrapped up by Thompson. Fiji looking to put this one to bed. Offload out the back from Naimasi. Here's Donu again. Inside ball. Back to Donu, and she's in the corner. The offloading ability of the Fijiana has extended their lead once again. Oh, credit there to Fijiana. They really had to work for that one. Every time Scotland have, have scored, Fijiana have hit straight back, and that shows you the kind of quality seven scene they are at the moment. They keep their heads. And this is a nice breakaway, though. Rachel McLaughlin into Fijian territory. Penalty to the women in blue. They go quickly. Nelson has support here from Raleigh. He's ducks under the tackle. That's Fiji, though, this time. Lavinia Tina is out there in the 13 shirt. Great to see her back playing for Fiji Sevens, 31 years of age. Here's Donu. Just buys a bit of time, nice inside ball to Tinai and out the back again. And the cut inside, Viniana Riwai will finish it off for the Fijiana. Yeah, Riwai there coming off the bench and giving that impact that you want. Again, it's just getting those offloads. You can see there, you know, Scottish players full of heart, full of guts, trying to make every tackle. Oh, well-timed step back inside there as well.